So, hello guys. Um, in the last video, we end up here. We are going to define our columns. So now I'm going to proceed. So, view menu, work in 3D, global work plane. I'm going to set a global work plane. Okay. I want to set that oval work plane, picking a new point, X1, Y1, and Z2 to be this corner point over here. Okay, I've already selected that. You could also do that by picking up this option here in this button. Okay, and if I select that, when I go to when I go to view menu projection X Y, view menu projection X Y, I will get the Z coordinate of that uh, global work plan that I have defined. Okay. Very good. Now let's define the columns. Geometry, object, cube. I'm going to open the geometry. Point one. I'm going to select x2, y2 in this plane. Okay. x2, y2, x3, y2, and x3, y3. I'm going to make a height of 3 meters. Apply. Now I'm going to copy this object that I have defined. I'm going to copy it up in the Y direction, okay? Geometry, sorry, edit, move or copy. I could also press Alt E E N zero four zero and enter. Now I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going I'm going to copy them to the right. 4 meters to the right, Alt E E M, 4, 0, 0, 2 times. Number of repetitions will be 2. These zeros are redundant. I can omit them. Okay, execute, and there you go. Let's look at this in a three dimensional projection. Okay, there you go. There you have your columns. Very good. Now I'm going to define the top of the foundation. So once again, I'm going to view menu, working 3D, global work plane, or I could select this. And I want the point, which is the intersection of the following axes, x2, y2, and z4 x2, y2, and z4. And the if you notice, you've got these little bubbles over here on the intersection of that axis that you want. Okay, X2, Y2, Z2, apply. Very good. Now I can go to view menu projection X, Y, or I could pick this over here. And notice, notice once again that you have got this height is related to the Z4 axis, okay? Now I'm working on this axis. Only objects presented, sorry, I'm working on this plane. Only object presented in this plane will be visible, nothing else, okay? Now let's go to geometry menu, object polyline contour. Very good. Notice that uh, all the commands that are most uh, used are over here to the right, okay? You could go to geometry, loads, analysis, whatever, or pick over here that commands. So let's define that geometry. I'll need to select X2, Y2. X2, Y2 over here, X7. Now X7, Y2 over here. X7, Y5 over here and over here. Very good. Now I need to extrude this face that I have defined. So I'm going to geometry menu panels or I could also pick this over here going to call this a face as I have explained in the later in the previous 
video that I have uh, made. Let's select this, OK. Going to close, and we'll select that, which is object number eight. Go to geometry menu, object, extrude. I want to extrude that parallel to axis Z. The height will be 0 0.5, but I want it to go down this time, minus 0 0.5. The division numbers will be, once again, 1. Okay? Now I'm going to apply and close. I'm going to pick the bird house over here, and there you go. There you have uh, your uh, 3D solid structure wireframe you've got this and you can see all the objects because you are watching this in wireframe everybody who works everybody who works with Revit knows what the wireframe view is you've got shaded here and hidden over here I like the shaded one okay now let's define the supports I need to close this and go to supports I'm going to create a new icon on the elastic tab, you've got the rigid one here and the elastic over here. I'm going to turn I'm going to turn off this and the sign a stiffness of 70,000 kilonewton per meter. Okay, I'm going to call this elastic foundation. This is the stiffness that mine uh, foundation will have all over its surface okay i think i need to explain that you could ask for help over here to see how robot deals with it i'm going to add okay lasting foundation and i'm going to apply it to this lower Face of our structure okay I'm going to define the elastic foundation okay and if you want to grab this lower face of your foundation you need to set over here the planner otherwise you won't be able to do that the last foundation over here which is a ref one object okay there we go, very good. I'm going to apply, going back to geometry, view menu, display over here. I'm going to access display over here. And on the structure tab, I'm going to activate the supports icon over here. Apply, okay. Already activated. So in the next uh, video, we will talk about mesh generation thank you very much and please subscribe